We built a wind tunnel that would blow smoke through a tunnel where we could put objects and see how air resistance affects those objects. We used smoke so that we could actually see the air. We started with an attachment to the fan and then made a tunnel. We used straws to straighten out the airflow into laminar airflow. And then we put windows in the tunnel, put it all together, and then we looked through those windows at the objects so that we could see what happened. And we started with a fire truck because we did not expect it to be very aerodynamic. That means that the wind hits the front, creating air resistance, and then it has to wrap around the edge. So you can see there's a halo around the fire truck. That is the air hitting the front and then having to wrap around. That air is making it harder for the truck to drive forward. It's creating friction against the truck, giving it air resistance. So you can see it wrapping over the top from the front. Next, we painted a car to look like Ms. Frederick's car. We used the junkyard salvage door and everything. And then we did a Corvette and you can see how aerodynamic this is. The air just wraps right over the top and flows off. And then we used a funny car and you can see there's not much change in the air except for in that back fin. And so if we don't see a big change in the air, we know that the air is not really affecting that object very much. And here we have a Corsair plane. You can see that the wing is directing the air. And that air is going to give you some lift. And here is an F-15 jet. It has more air resistance there with the missiles, but it still has that lift. And then here's the Atlantis space shuttle. It's gonna get shot straight up and out of our atmosphere. So it's not working the way a plane does. All of those engines at the bottom shoot it up. The wings here are used for the landing so it can catch more air and soften the blow of the landing. So they want it to catch the air when it's landing like that. And you can see the air wrapping around the space shuttle like that. Then we started doing things you guys throw in class. <clears throat> This is a paper wad similar to what Miss Robbins might make. Not very aerodynamic. Why do you think you would want to crumple up your paper tighter like that and make a paper wad like this? Does it look like that's affecting the air very much? And if we don't see a big change in that smoke, that means that the air is not affecting the object as much. And here's your ticket to ISS, <laughs> unfortunately. Scissors are very aerodynamic. You can see that the smoke is just kind of going past it. It's not a lot of air resistance on the scissors. Don't throw scissors, please, ever, especially in class. Bye scholars. <laughs>